All right, so it is now time to talk about the 1911 World Series, which was the second of the A's nine World Series titles in their history. Uh, it was between the Philadelphia A's and the New York Giants, which is kind of funny because both these teams are now in the Bay Area in the present day, but back then they were both back east. Um, and uh, yeah, they played in the A's second World Series victory. This was a pretty good World Series. Uh, the A's won four to two overall. Uh, one interesting thing, this is actually a 1911 World Series hat, obviously made by New Era. It's not original or anything, but it has the patch on it, uh, which is kind of cool. Yeah, this World Series was interesting because every game, except for the last game, uh, which was game six, was decided by two or less runs, which was, you know, made it very exciting um, for sure. The A's, you know, obviously it's back-to-back -back titles, so their roster wasn't much different than 1910. Home run Baker was dominant in the series once again. Uh, they had a really good series from Rube, uh, Rube Oldring, the center fielder, Harry Davis as well. Uh, but game one was pretty close. It was two to one in favor of the Giants. The Giants took game one at the Polo Grounds, obviously that really weird, unique stadium with the, you know, the very deep center field wall and the very shallow corners. Um, they took it 2-1. It was a very close game. Charles Bender, who was, you know, I talked a lot about 1910, a uh, very good pitcher. And uh, he lost the game, though. It was 2-1, though. It was a close game. And, uh, yeah, A's had six hits. Giants had five. For the Giants, um, you know, on the mound, they had uh, uh, Christy Mathewson, who po uh, pitched a complete game. Complete games, I guess, were just very common back then, as we saw in 1910. Charles Bender... Uh, pitched the complete game for the Athletics with um, five hits. That was a pretty, you know, not a very big game in terms of scoring. So I won't go into too much detail about it, but the Giants pretty much won this game because they walked a lot um, compared to the A's. In this, they had four walks, they had a lot of base runners, and uh, they had an RBI from uh, Josh DeVore, who was really good in this series, as you will see later on. But yeah, that was game one. But the A's took game two, um, at Shy Park, three to one final score. Also, not a super big game in terms of hitting. Giants had five hits, A's had four, um, and uh, Eddie Plank was on the mound for the Athletics, and Rube McQuard was um, on the mound for the Giants. Yeah, and uh, this actually wasn't a complete game for the Giants. McQuard pitched seven innings, and Doc Crandall pitched an inning. Eddie Plank was really good though. Pitched nine innings. He was a good pitcher for the A's back then. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, for the A's in this, the game, they had a really good game from Eddie Collins, who had two hits. Home run Baker had a good game with two RBIs. He won them the game, pretty much. I mean, two, two uh, RBIs was all they really needed besides the other run they had. So that was good to see. And uh, the A's took game two. Uh, Giants hitting wasn't super good. Fred Snodgrass, though, who was a really good center fielder for the Giants, uh, did have an RBI. Game three, the A's took game three in 11 innings at the Polo Grounds, um, three to two. So as you can see, you have a 2-1 in uh, game one, you have 3-1 in game two, and a 3-2 in game three. So very much a close series. But yeah, Philadelphia took game three, three to two, um, which was uh, very cool for the A's to win that. Uh, and they ended up scoring two runs in the 11th inning. So it was 1-1, you know, for a good chunk of this game, the Giants did get on the uh, mound uh, on the uh, board first with uh, a run in the bottom of the third. Jack Coombs, who I talked about in 1910 as a very dominant pitcher, he pitched in this game for the Athletics. Um, he pitched a, a complete 11 innings. So did Christy Mathewson, who pitched the first game of this series. Um, so very much a pitcher's battle. Uh, but uh, yeah, Jack Coombs pitched better. Only three hits in 11 innings. You never see that nowadays. Uh, Christy Mathewson did allow nine hits, which you know pretty much put the A's on top. And uh, home run Baker, once again, great game for him. And uh, that won them the game. He had two, uh, he had an RBI and two hits and two runs. So he was really good in this game. He was really good for the A's in this uh, early part of the 1900s. But uh, yeah, the A's took game three, three to two in 11 innings. In game four, the A's took a commanding series lead of three to one with a victory at Shy Park by a final score of four to two. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the A's and the Giants were pretty much equally record. Uh, they had equal records pretty much. I mean, the A's were 101 and 50. Giants were 99 and 54. You know, they played a different amount of games with it pretty equal um, and it made for a good series too. So not much disparity between the scoring. But the A's won four to two with 11 hits in a really good game in game four. 
Um, this one, you know, like I said, Charles Bender was pitching again um, against Christy Mathewson. I don't know how these guys had the stamina to pitch this much, but yeah, Christy Mathewson got the loss again, but he was still a good pitcher. Charles Bender got the win, um, so he bounced back from the loss he had earlier in the season. Home run Baker was crazy good in this game. He had uh, three at bats. He only had two. Hit well, he had two hits, but he had an RBI as well, which you know was big for them. Runs weren't a huge thing in this series, uh, as you can see, low scoring games. Uh, Danny Murphy, who I talked about earlier as well, he had a really good game. So did Jack Berry, the shortstop. So a lot of good hitting for the A's in this series overall. Uh, but yeah, game five, the Giants stayed alive with a 10th inning victory uh, over Philadelphia. This game was at the Polo Grounds, and they forced a game six with a 4-3 to three victory. Um, Eddie Plank, uh, who pitched uh, a good amount earlier in the series, he got the loss. Doc Crandall, who pitched just about one inning earlier in the series, he got the win, um, and uh, he pitched well. He um, Jack Coombs was actually on the mound for the A's. Like, they very much could have won this because Jack Coombs was doing well. But the only problem was they took him out. Eddie Plank pitched .2 innings, and, uh, you know, it went into extras. Giants got the walk-off in the bottom of the 10th inning. A's were, you know, hitting well out the gate, though. They had seven hits, and they had three runs in the top of the third inning. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, A's hitting was good, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. Uh, home run Baker didn't get a hit. So, you know, if home run Baker doesn't get a hit, they're not going to win. Uh, Rube Oldring, though, who was good earlier in the series, uh, had three RBIs, which was all of the A's runs. Um, and, uh, yeah, he was great in this game with two hits. But finally, the A's would have a crazy dominant victory in game six with a 13-2 to slugfest over the Giants at Scheib Park to give the A's their second World Series victory. Charles Bender, who I would probably say would be MVP, in my eyes, he was the winning pitcher. I mean, he was crazy. He, uh, in this game, pitched a complete game, only allowing two runs and four hits in nine innings. Um, Giants had three different pitchers, but not too important because they weren't playing well in this game. Uh, for the A's, you know, they had a really, really good game from home run Baker. Danny Murphy had a great game. Harry Davis, uh, Jack Berry, Ira Thomas. And, um, yeah, that was really all they needed. 13 runs on 13 hits. Giants um, committed a lot of errors. The A's did too, but, it, you know, that was all they needed. They, they were destined to win it um, at Scheib Park in their second World Series in Philadelphia, second of nine. Um, so, yeah, that was it for the 1911 World Series. They would win it again two years later, but that'll be a different video in 1913. Um, and, uh, yeah, game six, the Giants just couldn't score with runners in scoring position. They were 0 for 6, and um, maybe history would have been different had they – uh, been able to score with runners in scoring position. But yeah, that's it. The A's won the 1911 World Series, their second World Series title, and their second in a row. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.